1942, America is at war. Hollywood stars like Jimmy Stewart are urging fellow Americans to join up. Uh, hello. Hey, looks like I'm back in the movies again, doesn't it? He was one of the first stars to enlist. Initially turned down by the army for being too skinny, Stewart fattened up on spaghetti, steak, and milkshakes. In March 1941, still a few ounces light, he persuades the army doctor to let him become a bomber pilot for the Army Air Force. And he calls others to join him. This is where you'll serve America best. Young men of America, your future's in the sky. Your wings are waiting. Although too old to be drafted, Clark Gable joins as a private following the death of his wife, Carol Lombard, in a plane crash. Thank God bless you. Thank you. The war effort also draws in top director John Ford. Seen here in his rare home movies, on his yacht, the Araner. Having always dreamed of being a Navy man, in April 1941, Ford gathers a group of experienced filmmakers and sets up his own Naval Reserve Unit. They wear rented uniforms and become affectionately known as John Ford's Navy. At first, the brass doesn't take him seriously. But as the war heats up, he and his men are put to work. They make documentaries and training films for the government, following Allied forces across Europe and the Pacific. In 1942, the Navy sends Ford to film the U.S. base on the tiny island of Midway. When the Japanese attack, Ford gets injured by shrapnel, but continues to film. As a group of Marines defiantly hoist the American flag, he wins the Academy Award for Best Documentary Film.